Welcome to the All American Spook Show Podcast. We hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of the All American Spook Show podcast. I'm Josh and I'm here with Will. <laughs> and as always, the Professor Smoke. What's up, ghoulies? In this episode, we're going to discuss one of the best horror movies of 1985. Is it Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge? Nope. Fright Night? Nope. Friday the 13th, A New Beginning? House? Nope. It's the return of the living dead. But all those others I just talked about made more money than that. <laughs> it, it grows. Yeah, and actually it's surprising that what George Romero's Day of the Dead came out the same year and actually made less than Return of the Living Dead. Yes. It <laughs> grossed fourteen point two four million dollars by you know what I could find, you know, total. Um some horror, some other horror movies that it beat out that year. Uh what smoke one you just said. Um oh, yeah. but it also beat out Cat's Eye. Life Force, Once Bitten, and Transylvania 65,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a personal favorite of mine, by the way. Transylvania 65,000. Dude, I got to say, awesome too, so, so I looked up all that shit to spout that off, right? 1985 <laughs> was a fucking awesome move, uh, year for movies, is what I came to realize yeah, I, very quickly. <laughs> I'll just roll off some of the... Uh, I'll read you the top ten in the box office that year, okay? And then I'll just roll off some other movies. Top ten from uh, top to bottom. Back to the Future, Rambo First Blood Part 2, Rocky Four, The Color Purple, Out of Africa, Cocoon, The Jewel of the Nile, Witness, The Goonies, and Spies Like Us. That was the top ten. Yeah. Only, uh, let's see, three of those movies broke $100 million. Back to the Future, Rambo First Blood Part 2, and Rocky Four. So Stallone was raking in in '85. Yeah, <laughs> but other just some other movies that year. Police Academy Two, their first assignment. Fletch, View to a Kill, National Lampoon's European Vacation, Mask, not the Mask, but Mask, the one with Cher in it, and uh, <laughs> Willie's favorite uh, Rocky Dennis. Uh, Yay! The Breakfast Club, uh, Pale Rider, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Brewster's Millions, St. Elmo's Fire, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Commando, Teen Wolf. And, I mean, it just keeps going on. The Last Dragon, <laughs> which we should probably do that oh, one. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, we definitely should. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the list goes on and on, dude. F fucking uh, Summer Rental, John Candy. Weird Science. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I mean, it was a hell of a year. I mean, when you look at it like this, man, when you run down this list, I'm like, Jesus, dude, 85 was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> But I was only four going on five years old when it was going on, so I don't remember everything about that. I mean, I remember some of that, and obviously that some of those are my favorites from years later, but I, I don't remember seeing any of those in the theaters. I was too little to recall. Mm, and I think and I now when people go back and uh, watch <laughs> movies from uh, 2010 uh, to 2020, it's going to be like, hey, what did we watch then? Well, it was part <laughs> two of this, and... And part two of that, and the return of this, uh, and, and part three of that. We can have a reboot <laughs> marathon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, the Final Destination is getting a reboot, too. Yeah, I so saw that. I saw that. It's were, kind of strange. I didn't read the details, though. So it's, is it going to be a reboot or a continuation? Yeah, I, I read into there was a reboot. Wow. It's going to be a reboot. Yeah. Which, was, I don't know. Was, I don't know. Is there a real demand for it being I, rebooted already? I, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, I wouldn't think so either. I thought it kind of played, you know, played it out to the end as much as it could do with it. It's like, kind of like so, Saw, you know, Saw has kind of played its way through. So what it you're on. saying is it wasn't the final destination. <laughs> yeah. Never. Never. The final destination, the never ending story. <laughs> final destination. <laughs> okay, six. here we go. I will, I will still say, though, that the final destination two, the you know, the, the horrible accident, the car crash. Oh, yeah. And that movie is yeah. one of the best car crash scenes in movie history. Yeah. It's fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. And just when everything yeah. calms down, here comes the log trucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love those movies. Yeah, there's one thing you can't say about that that yeah, that you can't you can't say that they don't have in, in you know inventive kills in just about every one of those oh, movies. Yeah. Especially the first three, I think. Like it starts going yeah. off the rails after that, but those first three. True. 
the yeah. flattened by that glass pane or whatever. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forget which one that was. Yeah, what well, the first one was the plane crash, right? The second one was the big uh log truck accident. The third one third was a, the roller coaster, think, right? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then I can't remember after that right off the top of my head, but Yeah, I don't even know. I, didn't, I honestly don't think I saw any after part 3. It's definitely a it's definitely a series of movies that kind of blow their wad in the first like 20 30 minutes of the movie and then, and then it's it's kind of all <laughs> downhill from there. <laughs> And then it's like, hey, you still here? Check us out. Yeah. No? No, not good? All right, check us out. <laughs> not like the one we're going to talk about today, though, The Return of the Living Dead. The hits keep, oh, yeah. the hits keep coming. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> Until the end, but we'll we'll talk about that when we get into it. So I'm going to pass along our uh, you know contact information, if you will, for the podcast. And if you wanted to uh, email us, you can email us at allamericanspookshow at gmail.com. Um, you can find us on Twitter at AA Spook Show. Um, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook if you look up All American Spook Show. And uh, the same on YouTube, you know, the All American Spook Show. Uh, we have a YouTube uh, account there. We're basically, we just put uh, show teasers on there, but maybe eventually we'll, you know, figure out some other content to put up there. So, yeah, if you want to get, in, you know, you got any uh, questions to ask us, any uh, comments or critiques, whatever, you know, we're, we're an open book. Uh, so if you want to find us and send us a message there. Um, yeah, so recently, uh, well, it was probably uh, back in mid-December, we were uh, a, a tweet that we had sent out was liked by Shudder. I think it was when we were talking about uh, Terrified. Um, it was liked by Shudder on Twitter, and then we actually got retweeted by Craig Engler, who was the GM of Shudder. So um, we wanted to mention that. That was pretty cool. Um, we also have um, at least two new listeners abroad internationally we had uh, a, d- a download from uh japan and we had a new download from austria so shout out to you guys listening over there if you can understand uh what i'm what we're speaking thank you <laughs> I mean, sometimes yeah, you probably I, can't understand it. even if english is your first language you probably can't understand some of the stuff i mumble out yeah exactly <laughs> That's more of what I meant. Like, I'm sure anybody that's going to download this probably at least knows English, I would hope. But, yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're speaking a different kind of English. <laughs> we speak in Southern. It's called South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to Austria and Japan. And, and we also had another download from the U.K. I mean, I don't know if it's the same one, you know, same person that was listening before, but shout out to the U.K. as well. Um we're international. Another thing we're going to discuss here, and this is kind of going off track a little bit, but we we found this this week, and we all thought it was hilarious. I'll put the link. It's a YouTube video. I'll put the link in the show notes so you guys can go check it out because you have to see this for yourself. Uh, or you can look it up on YouTube yourself when I tell you. It's called Forklift Driver Klaus English Subtitles. Um, it looks like it was uploaded by someone named Lava Doma. I don't know, whatever. But it's it's been on there for like over eight years. Um, it has over 2.1 million views. So, I mean, it's not like this is this secret thing that we just discovered, but we just tripped upon it ourselves. So we thought it was hilarious <laughs> and kind of fitting for the podcast. It's like a, uh, a German forklift safety driving, uh, video that just straight up goes off the rails. I mean, like the first few minutes you're like, what the hell, why am I watching this? What is this? You know, it's like, a instructional video on <clears throat> what to do and what not to do when driving a forklift. And then it just starts showing you like these accidents with this guy, um, driving the forklift and it, and the accidents just keep getting worse and worse until it becomes just a straight up like splatter gore flick by the last like three minutes of it. Yeah. Once you get there, yeah. it, it, it just becomes like a, uh, like a, a, like a running joke and like everything starts adding to each other. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was like, like what would happen if uh, if they got like a German splatter all tour, like Olaf Utenbach or Andreas Schnauss to put together a forklift safety video, and this is what they delivered. Trust me, it is fucking nuts. You need to <laughs> you need to go watch this for yourself. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, like I said, I'll put the uh, link in the show notes there, so you can check it out yourselves, or you can go look it up. It's called Forklift Driver Klaus English subtitles. So. I'm sure uh, any of our fans will get a kick out of it. So I guess this week, you know, we're like I said, we're going to be talking about The Return of the Living Dead from 1985. Before we go any further, here's the trailer for that movie. 